Oh, hello, dum dums. How are you? Good morning. Good morning, silly boys. Good morning, silly mans. What is up, guys? Woo! Holy crap. Dude, the sun is out today. It is so freaking hot out now. Dude, it's like back in the, it's probably 93 right now. I'm not even kidding. It is super hot. This is crazy. Summer is back. Gators. Hey, Gators. So we got some bird food right here, some treats. Got some carrots because they ate all the broccoli. You guys ate all the broccoli. These cages are gross. Ew, dude. This is just, what, three days worth of poop. That's just nothing, okay? These cages are disgusting. So, the main goal of today, we're gonna feed the birds, clean the birds. I gotta situate this whole area. This cage has to go in the shed. Well, just all this stuff is just a mess. I got the space heaters out here. I got all the electric cords out here. Still nothing's hooked up, obviously. We don't need heat anymore. Yeah, it's time to clean all this crap away. And then I gotta pressure clean the cages. I'm gonna play with Taruk before I do that. So, I wanna show you guys how Taruk acts with me now. It's been five days, six days since she's been home. And even day one, you know, that morning I woke up, came out here to check on everybody, and dude, totally different bird. Wait, wait until you see what's going on, okay? So first, Get these cockatoos uncovered. These freaking things. So, Chloe doesn't mind being uncovered, but Prince will lose his freaking mind if this cage is not covered at night. He literally will scream until you cover it. Like literally scream like he, I don't even, I can't even replicate this scream that he does. It's terrible though. It's like nothing I've ever heard before. It'll literally wake the dead. It's awful, 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 awful. It is the most annoying sound in the whole freaking world. You ever seen Dumb and Dumber where he's like, oh, you wanna hear the most annoying sound in the world? And he's like, ah! Same thing. It is, you just wanna frick, you just wanna pop their little heads off, which I would never do. Relax, people. God, I get so aggro. I would never hurt my birds, okay? I would never do that, even though they drive me Absolutely insane sometimes. Hi, baby. Hey, my baby. Hello, my baby. Hello, baby, baby. You want me to hold you? Okay, hold on. Let me do this first. All right, so first up is Prince. All right, so I really like these clip-on bowls. Can you step up? He's still slowly accepting the fact that I am his human. Fine. Give it to him anyways. He lets me pet him like this. It's very, everything is on his terms. He'll come around eventually. Sometimes I walk in here and he'll step right up onto me. And he'll let me touch him. Literally, he'll step right up. If he's on this thing, this little thing right here, he'll step right up on me. No problem at all. Chloe, on the other hand, my girl. Step up. Hi, baby. Hi, Chloe. Say hi, Chloe. See? Chloe, on the other hand, freaking loves me. Aren't you cute? You are very cute. Yeah, she's warming up a lot faster than Prince is. So, she is my cute little baby. Loves to snuggle. She'll let me do whatever I want with her. She'll let me show you her wings and stuff. Wow, look how pretty that is. Wow, so pretty. She's a sweetheart. Wait, you are a sweetheart and you like to dance. You are awesome. Oh, such a cute bird. She's doing great here. All right, so I'll put you there. Let me give you some water and some food. All right, baby. You ready? Fill up your water. And then I'm going to fill up your food. Give you some treats. Okay, you want these? What? You don't want those Nutri Berries? What do you want then, huh? What would you like? Huh, baby? What would you like? Got these guys on a way better diet now, too. They were both on those Fruity Pebble-looking high corn fructose 
high sugar, just terrible, terrible bird food. So now they're all on nice, holistic, natural bird food. Got them on Harrison's, Tops, and then I use the Parrot Diet from Missouri. Um, I give them a couple monkey biscuits also. Everybody likes different things. I give him a peanut every now and then. She loves these little Nutriberries, as you can see right now. She's eating. Um, all of them like carrots. Taruk loves peppers, pasta. Uh, I don't really know what the new one likes, but I'm going to go to the uh, produce place right after this down the street here. I'm going to get a whole smorgasbord of things for them and figure out what the new bird likes. Toku or Tuko or Toki or whatever the heck his name is. I don't really remember Gianna named him. My, my memory is terrible. I will learn it. We will figure it out. And hopefully he will warm up to me sooner than later. Because right now he hates me. We're going to go find that out right now. You'll see how he acts. He just, he just wants to... He's just like... Spoiler. So, uh, yeah, let's go see. All right, so I'm honestly not exactly sure how I'm going to do this because both of them, you see, they want food in the morning. That's like, they're just like super hungry every morning. They eat so much food. I give them both two big bowls of food. I change their water twice a day. With birds, it's really, they're very, very messy eaters. I don't know if you can see the bottom of this cage, but they just get food everywhere, especially this guy. If he doesn't like it, he literally, he'll take his beak sideways and he'll just push everything right out the food bowl onto the floor. They're very, very, very messy eaters, and they're very stubborn too. So if you put something in their food bowl that they don't like, they will literally take the food bowl off, dump the whole thing out, and pick through what they want. It's crazy. So let's try to get them both over here. Truk, come over here, baby. Come here. Come over here, baby. All right, let's see. I'm just going to open it inside. Ready? Let's go like this. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to get past you. Excuse me. Can I get in there, please? dangerous. I got one door. I don't have a lockout cage yet. Once I build their new aviary, their new huge one, which hopefully I will be doing sooner than later. I just got to get my snake building done first. It's costing literally all the extra money that I have right now. It's going towards the snake building in the new tattoo studio. That is number one priority. I need to get my snakes here. They're all at Chandler's house still. I hate having a I mean, I love going over to Chandler's house and taking care of everything and seeing Chandler all the time. But at the same time, it is really hard to keep on top of my animals instead of seeing them every day and seeing what's going on with them every single day. You know, I only get to see them once every week or so. I'm so busy with life and the baby and the tattoo shop, it's really hard for me to get up there. So let's see how I'm going to get into here real fast. Come here. Come on. Let's come over here. Look. Hello. Come here, both of you. Keep on coming to daddy. All right. Well, I got to make a break for it. Ah! All right, one down. Ha ha, I made it in here. All right, so we put some food up here. Of course, this little jerk, stop, don't bite me. Of course, he's gonna get it first. Taruk, want me to put you on here? Come here, come on, baby. Look, go there. All right, cool. Now, while they're occupied, let me uh, get the other, there's two more food bowls. Boom. Got the other two food bowls right here. Now, unfortunately, I have the other two, uh, those clicking bowls that click onto the side of the cage. Those are gonna be here later today. I'm just waiting on an Amazon package. So we don't have that just yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put these guys on the floor for them. They will go right down onto the floor and they will eat their food on the floor. It's not like they can't get to it. All right, like I said, just temporary and I'm still trying to find a bunch of finding grapevine and finding dragonwood right now is so freaking hard nobody has it in stock and then the few bird stores that do carry these bird perches like these perches right here that I always use everything's out of stock because of Christmas right now so I'm trying really really hard to find some stuff um, I might just have to go to Home Depot and do some makeshift stuff uh, one of my buddies online he sent me an email yesterday of his aviary and he's been putting really long like 10 foot two by fours in the cages for them they just chew on the two by fours they crawl all along them and it's actually a really really good idea i have a bunch of gift cards from christmas for uh, home depot so i'm gonna go over there later today and get some fun stuff for them all right so let me go grab the camera i'm gonna i'm gonna try to position the camera somewhere decent so that way you can really see how Taruk is going to act with me. I'm going to let her eat a little bit. She's hungry, you know. Let her get her breakfast in. She's soaking it in. She's soaking it in the water right now. They love to do that. They take their food, they soak it in the water so it's nice and soft. We got little, this little jerk off right here coming to the seat. Look, that's all he cares about. He just wants freaking peanuts. I got a couple peanuts in there. 
Because that's the only thing that'll lure them away from this freaking door is peanuts. Boom. Look at that. So this is a really awesome setup. I love filming in this cage just because it's easy to like, there's just literally 360. You could put camera mounts anywhere. So I could, pre I could literally put my camera wherever the heck I want. Toku, 2K, Toko, Makoto, whatever the heck your name is. Relax. Baby Taruk, hello my baby. Would you just wipe your food on me? Gross. You are a sicko. You are a sicko. Are you still hungry? You're just gonna eat for a while? I'm just gonna give her a couple more minutes of eating before we uh, try to interact with each other and show you guys how your girl <laughs> still remembers her daddy. So I might as well just show you guys what's going on, what she's doing. What she does is she takes her food. Hi, what, you see the camera? She takes her food, she puts it in the water bowl, makes it nice and soft, and then she eats it. Well, you wanna come play with me now? Oh, you're looking at the camera like, you're like, what the heck? I remember that stupid thing, Dad. Why you gotta put that in my face all the time? All right, I think she's done eating. Taruk, Mama. Hi, baby. Oh, hello. Hello, baby. She wants the camera, that's what she wants. You can't have the camera. The camera is very expensive, okay? You cannot have that, okay? You can't have the camera. Can I show everybody how cute you are? Hello! We got you back! We're so excited, right? Oh, I love it! I love it, right? It's like we didn't skip a beat. Ah! ah! Didn't skip a beat, guys. Do you? Oh, you excited? I'm excited too. Hi, baby. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. How are you, baby? So happy to have her back, guys. Now, obviously, those of you that don't know my story, okay. Sorry, the microphone is right here. She screams in the microphone. I can't really control it. Obviously, for those of you that don't know the story, Taruk is a Buffon Scarlet Cross that I raised up from a time she was just a hatchling. I got her from Bill over at Parrot Daddy, North Florida. Bill, amazing birds. The guy is awesome, super knowledgeable. So I got her from Parrot Daddy probably five or six years ago now, easily. Probably like six years ago, actually. I gotta, I gotta look up exactly when. And I'll try to put some baby, some little baby clips of her back in the day. Yo, shut up. Why? I'll try to put some baby clips of her in this video. I gotta try to find them. I'm sure I got them, I do. But uh, yeah, I raised her from a little tiny baby. <laughs> Just the tiniest little thing. She barely had any feathers on her. She was so freaking cute. Big, dark eyeballs. Oh, just loved her. Baby parents are so, so cute. But obviously, she is still very, very cute and affectionate towards me. She loves me. Now, a lot of people are saying, they're like, oh, once you put her with a male and once she has a mate, she's never going to let you touch her again. She's just going to be mean. She's going to be, yeah, whatever. That's a case-by-case case scenario, guys. Because look, obviously, does this look like a bird that hates me? Huh? Does this look like a bird that wants to just kill me and just bite me all the freaking time? Yeah, she does that. That's, that's, her, that's her way of speaking, okay? She's not growling or being aggressive or anything like that. She's just playing. That's what they do. Birds are freaking loud, all right? So, dude, I am so freaking pumped. Because she's so sweet, guys. Like, she is... I love the cockatoos, okay? Don't get me wrong, the cockatoo rescues are totally great. Nobody's gonna forget about the cockatoos. I like, look, the first first birds I handled today were the cockatoos. Look at those beautiful wings. First birds I handled today were the cockatoos, okay? So like, they get loved first. Their cage is before Taruk's cage. So before I handle Taruk in the morning, before I spend time with my girl, I spend time with the cockatoos first. Nobody gets neglected over here. And I would love to be able ah! to hold Toku or Tukoi or whatever the hell his name is. I would love to hold him the same way that I hold my baby Taruk. Because she is just the absolute, just the sweetest. Oh, so happy to have her back. Even with the recent circumstances, with losing, losing my water monitors has been terrible. Like, honestly, guys, it has put me in a really, it put me in a really shitty place for a couple of days. Like... 
seasonal depression, like I, I just I suffer from certain things and trauma and just losing friends ah. and all sorts of shit in my past life. I'm 34 years old. I've been there, done that. I've had a lot of things happen in my lifetime already, unfortunately. So the holiday season <laughs> for me, yeah, it's great being with family and stuff. It also makes me miss a lot of people that aren't around now, and I get, my, I, get my, I get my feels, and it's hard. But having my girl back is just definitely something that really helps. You know, having my baby, my daughter, like holding my daughter <coughs> is just like I can't even describe it. Like the way that I love my animals, and the way that I love my daughter is just like I can't, I can't even describe <coughs> what it's like with my daughter. Because obviously my animals I love, but they're not mine. They're not like my seed. My daughter is my seed. She's just like me. She looks like me. She's just this little, cute little image of. Uh, can't even can't even describe what it's like. Hey, hey, that was my thumb, man. That was my thumb. Chill out, okay? Just chill. But as you can see, she's great. She is just so freaking cute. I love her so much. Like, look at this fluffy little fire chicken. Look at that fluffy. Look at all that flop. Oh, you're so cute. See, she's happy. This means this right here, head back. That means that she's real happy. This is a real happy bird right here. That's what babies do. Only baby parrots really do that. Big birds. You know, they get all aggro and crazy when they get adults, when they hit adulthood. See, look at this. This is just total love right here. Total love, nothing but love. She loves me, still. It's the best feeling ever, honestly. Like, I can't tell you what it's like to have my burns back. Like, it's just, it's amazing. It feels, it feels unreal, honestly. Like, she is my baby. Raise this bird from a tiny, tiny little hatchling. Mm, and she still loves me. So that's it, guys. Just wanted to show you guys the birds. <laughs> I gotta get clean in these cages. I got a bunch of family coming over. My brother's coming over with Hayes. I think my mom's coming over today. My dad's coming over. Everybody's coming over. We're still on Christmas break right now. I'm off of work. I don't go back to tattooing until January 2nd. So I'm just doing stuff around the house, taking care of the property, helping be out with the baby. You know, just doing my daddy thing. So we got all the family coming over today to see the baby. Look how beautiful this bird is. Look at that. Look at all those beautiful freaking feathers. It's crazy. She's just like, she's like no other parrot I've ever, I've ever seen. Verde macaw, bouffant, scarlet cross, hybrid. So pretty. Like, just look how beautiful this bird is. Look at that. It's just, it's amazing. It's so beautiful. It's crazy. You are so pretty. You know that? And your daddy loves you. So until next time, guys. Finally, a good, positive video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support, guys. Everybody that believes in me. Everybody that knew that this would happen one day, you know. I'm stoked. I couldn't be happier, man. It's a long time coming, right, baby? Your daddy worked his ass off to get, your to get you home, okay? And now you're home. I'm so happy. Her feet are so warm. That's another thing. When birds are happy, their feet get really warm. Their feet get warm. And their beak get really warm. Like her beak is so freaking warm right now. It's crazy. She is such a content little chicken. Oh, and daddy loves you. He really does. He really, really does. Look at this. Look at this. This is just, oh, this is love right here. This is it right here. Just affection and love. Oh, I love you so much. Mm. Oh, All right. Until next time, guys. I'm out. Love you. Later. Bye.